On the machine, I got two Oregon. Um, Those were two Oregon bulbs. I got two of them. You barely see them. I'll turn the light on. You see what it is. And there they are. So, and I think they can be set up in an apparatus, but you can carefully hold them away from the machine, but you can get a little bit of a spark from it and uh, it extends the frequency. So, just to give you a close up, the way they built this, I like it because everything is accessible, everything is viewable. You just take out. And some four Phillips screws take off a panel you know anything needs to be replaced it can be replaced very easily and uh, you know obviously over here there's a rubber hose on a switch on a metal switch just in case for shock protection so um, I actually think you know even though this is not like the original design Lukowski machine it's probably pretty good it's probably pretty good and I guess it's a matter of how consistently, how consistently you use it where it'll make a difference. And I plan to use it three times a day for 10 minutes a day. And I'm pretty disciplined. Uh, you, can, you can waste 10 minutes, not big deal. You know, a lot of times people waste hours and they don't realize it. Um, but it actually does seem to refresh you. I don't know if that's my imagination or it's a placebo effect. Um, the other thing is where it's probably doing something it's putting off a lot of negative ions which are extremely good for the body very good for the body because the body is actually negatively charged and parasites and cancers are positively charged the theory being and it is theory um, that that would cause the body to strengthen and overcome all bad stuff and actually rejuvenate I don't know if that's true or not there's been reported cases even way back in the 30s when this was first developed, basically more perfected in 1931, where it has worked like that. So, um, but I, we shall see. So it's an experiment, but I got these two organ bulbs. Now, these probably can go in a fixture. I mean, they're really designed for a fixture, but it, um, I was just holding them carefully. You know, if I get them too close, you can feel a little shock, but... It's not like a shock directly from the spark itself. It's like, you know, you can feel it going through the glass a little bit. But um, they supposedly will last quite a long time with um, using this device to, versus just putting them in a light fixture. If you put them in a light fixture, these bulbs will last. Maybe you've got to use them like 30 seconds at a time. And um, these are argon. And from my research... The main one that Tesla used with the purple, the violet ray, was argon and also neon, but mainly argon. So both of these are argon. I just got them shipped uh, in today. So just give you a quick demonstration, but I probably will come up with something better that um, we can, you know, use that can um, have a little more function to it. And uh, I said this had, you know, I'm not, I'm not familiar with this machine at all. It has one spark gap adjuster in the back. But like I said, what I like about this machine, you can pretty much see everything that's going on in it. And, you know, it's professionally built. And you got to watch. You don't touch anything while it's running. And you just turn it off from the rubber protected on switch. And I unplug it when it's not in use, just to make sure. So, uh, but it does seem to put off a lot of negative ions. You can actually feel something. It's not just electricity. I don't know what the hell it is. It almost feels like a breeze. It's not a breeze, but it feels like something, like an energy, I guess. I don't know. But you can feel something around it. But you don't want to get too, too, too close. I get about, eh, I guess a foot away, which is plenty close enough. And uh, that seems to do the job.